So 1474.1, it's your main standard. Uh, if, if there's one standard you wish to understand, I would say that it's this one. It defines what a CBTC system is. It has the building blocks in there that I talked about, uh, ATO, ATP, ATS. It gives you general high level requirements um, uh, that a CBTC system uh, should have. Um, it gives a basic description of the type of railroad that a CBT system should operate on. And basically what it says, is it should be able to operate on any type of railroad whether it's light rail, heavy rail, commuter trains, urban transit, um, mainline, it doesn't matter. CBTC should be able to work on all of them. So far, CBTC has only been deployed on urban, urban applications like subways on the inner cities. Uh, I'm not aware of any mainline application yet. Um, ETCS level three and four might meet the, that, that requirement, but I'm not aware if, if they've actually got an ETCS level three or four system operating yet but it's supposed to operate on just about any system according to the spec itself. Uh, it defines the ATP, ATO, ATS functions that I've already talked about. Uh, it's covered in, in this spec. So ATP has the 16 functions, ATO had the three functions, and ATS has the eight functions. And it's described in, in quite a bit of detail uh, in this standard uh, for each one of these functions. Um, so that's, this is where you go, it's chapter six uh, of this spec itself. So that's